Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I am making more soup today. I just did my soup and bread of the week video a couple days ago, um, but we need some more soup because sickness has come to our house and uh, everyone in the past week or so has been down for the count. So I thought some chicken soup was in order and I am really excited to try the um, new wraps that I've made as noodles. So it's been a popular thing that has gone around using the egg life wraps sliced up into noodle shapes and using them for various noodle recipes and dishes. And I thought that my knockoff egg life wraps would actually work really well for noodles. So I'm very excited to try it. I'm just gonna do a basic chicken noodle soup, like a clear broth, good bone broth soup, and then throw in the sliced up crepes. I'm gonna use the fresh egg white version of the recipe. I've done two, one with fresh egg whites and one with egg white powder plus water. And I found that the ones with egg white powder plus water are more, they're like denser and they make a great tortilla knockoff because um, they just kind of have that really dense feel like a tortilla has. And then the ones with um, fresh egg whites, they're a little bit thinner and floppier and they make a great crepe. I have been eating those crepes every day like for two different meals because they're so good and they're basically zero fat, all protein. I can add like a drizzle of ghee and oh, they're so good. They're just like more floppy and soft and they kind of just have that more of that noodly feel to me, I think. So that's what I'm gonna try first. But I might also try a batch of the um, other ones with the egg white powder and throw them in a little broth so I can just test it out just to see which one is better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my chicken cooked and that will make bone broth at the same time. Normally I would use a whole chicken to make the chicken broth, but I didn't have one of those defrosted right now and I did have these defrosted. So that is what I'm gonna use for the chicken and to make the bone broth. I am going to pull off the skins before I throw the chicken thighs in the air, not the air fryer, the uh, instant pot. Uh, I have air fryer on my brain because I was going to say I'm going to save the chicken skins to make air fryer crispy or air fryer chicken skin crisps. I've done that in one of my keto food prep videos before. I will link that up in the cards if you want the directions, but there's no point in wasting the chicken skin when I can make it into chicken skin crisps. They're super good. Since I'm going to be adding all kinds of spices and things to the soup, I'm just going to keep the broth right now really simple. Just some salt and some apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar is to like help release more of the minerals from the bones. Uh, it's totally optional, but it gets a little bit more of the nutrition from the bones. Just a tablespoon or two is plenty. Do a little more salt than that. All right, now I'm gonna cover this with uh, water. I do have a video on more elaborate chicken broth with all kinds of veggies and things in there and I will link that up in the cards if you wanna do something a little more fancy. I'm gonna lock my lid. I'm gonna pressure cook. Let's see, for, uh, I'll have it on high for 45 minutes. If you go longer, you're gonna get more, you know, nutrition out of the bones and stuff. But I want the soup to not take too long, so I'm gonna just cook it for 45 minutes and that'll be plenty to make the chicken, like, shred off the bone and get a nice, rich broth. I'm gonna go ahead and get the crepes or noodles going. I'm gonna turn on my griddle to 375 and I'm gonna do a quadruple batch, so I separated a whole dozen eggs and I've gotten rusty at separating eggs because I haven't been using fresh egg whites for my breads recently. I've just been using the powder so I had to get back into it. Thankfully with this recipe you don't really have to worry about the little bit of egg yolk getting into the egg whites because you're not whipping them up so that's nice. Makes it less stressful for sure. I also wanted to show you these that I ordered on Amazon. They are crepe spreaders I guess crepe spreaders and this is a flipper that actually is kind of cool for flipping the crepes so I'm excited about that and hey check out the name of the brand here indigo true I noticed that there was a brand named that when I was looking at the different options and then I picked the one that looked the best and ordered it ordered it and it wasn't until it got here that I realized that I had picked the indigo true brand so we can just pretend like this is indigo merch 
I'm still not good at using these. Anybody that's, you know, made crepes for a living before will probably laugh at me, but um, they've been fun to try and to play with. All right, so I have 12 egg whites here, and I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup of the gelatin powder. So that's 40 grams. Enough. And since these are going to be noodles, I'm going to add a bit of salt, a couple big pinches, maybe like a quarter teaspoon. I'm going to mix this up, and if I can't get it really mixed up, um, like all the chunks gone, I'll go ahead and get out my immersion blender. The immersion blender works a little bit better when it's a bigger recipe, and the head of the blender can get fully submerged down there, so it's a little easier than with the really tiny recipe. And um, so since I'm going to be cutting these into noodles, or at least some of them, I don't know if I'll use the entire four batches worth for noodles, but since I'm going to be cutting them up, they don't need to be perfectly round, and if they were more rectangle, that would probably be better. So I'm going to try to do a few rectangle ones, see how that works out, and then I might do some circle ones just in case I save them for crepes for another time. All right. Let's see. Okay. So of course if you're making circles, you spin this thing around, but I'm going to try to make a rectangle here. I don't want them paper thin, but I don't want them really thick either. It's delicate balance. I found with the spreader, it's easy to make them really paper thin, which would be good for some things. Actually, I experimented with making egg rolls with like egg roll wrappers, and those were really good when they were really thin. So there are different times that you might want them really thin, and the egg rolls turned out really well. They were really good. So this side of the pan, you can see, is slanted. So everything likes to run down, which actually for this is working out pretty well, as long as it doesn't run too far. Don't run too far. This one is looking done. So you kind of can swipe under it to get it um, disconnected. And then you just flip it, and hopefully it doesn't wrinkle. Chicken is done. I just need to quick release the rest of the pressure here. Here are my soup additions. I have a medium sized carrot all chopped up, a small onion, and two stalks of celery. I would have done more celery except that's all I had in the fridge. And then I went out and got some herbs from the garden, some fresh rosemary, some thyme, and parsley. So I went ahead and did a quadruple batch of the fresh egg white version crepes. And I'm finding that with that tool, the spreader tool, it's hard to not get them too thin. So I hope these aren't too thin and that they will still hold up pretty well. But I just used the spatula on these. These are the egg white powder version. So I was just really curious to see how both of them held up in the broth. 
So these ones are obviously a lot thicker. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut both batches up into noodle strips. I'm not gonna use all of them in this soup, of course, but I have other noodle dishes that I am interested in trying out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these all cut up and then um, I will test out how they do in the broth when that's done. check these out they look super nice so these ones are the ones with the egg white powder and they you know are thicker and so they kind of are a little bit more fluffy um, so it's not quite as noodly of a texture as I you know a regular noodle would be just because the noodles regular noodles don't have those little tiny air bubbles in there like this one does these look more like rice noodles or something to me they look really good and they kind of have, let's see, I was noticing they kind of have a little bit of a stretch to them, kind of like, you know, a noodle would have. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Look at how stretchy that is. Of course it does break. It's not like a rubber band, but um, I'm excited about both of these and to see how they are. I would like a way to cut the strips a little bit thinner. This is like fettuccine. If I could cut it down to be more like spaghetti that would be nice but it's kind of tedious i've got my instant pot on saute mode and i'm just going to add probably a tablespoon or so of avocado oil and get my veggies sauteed up just going to let these saute up for about three minutes or so i'm going to go ahead and add my spices i'm going to do two teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of Redmond seasoned salt, and one teaspoon of garlic. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in the rosemary and the thyme. I will save the parsley to put in after the soup has cooked. I'm gonna throw in all of my chicken. This is gonna be a real high protein soup. Just measured it and it's 25 ounces of cooked chicken. So lots, lots of chicken. And I'm gonna throw in the broth. I'm gonna measure it out as I go here to see how much I do. One, two, So I put in about six cups of broth, and since the chicken is already very cooked and I don't want the vegetables to turn to mush, I'm only going to pressure cook this for one minute and I'll let it sit on keep warm mode for five minutes and then I'll quick release the rest of the pressure and open it up. I'm gonna lock my lid. Cancel to turn off saute mode. Pressure cook, high, and go down to one minute and start. So if I were just making a whole batch of soup with the noodles, I'd probably throw the noodles in, you know, after it's all finished cooking because they just need to heat up. They're already cooked. But since I want to test out which noodles work better, I'm going to put a little bit of each kind into each bowl and um, we'll test it out. All right, cook time is done and it's been sitting for a few minutes, so I am going to quick release the rest of the pressure. All right, that smells so good. I'm gonna throw in the parsley. I like to throw on the parsley at the end because it keeps the nice bright green color and it just makes the soup pop. This soup would be delicious all by itself, even without the noodles, but the noodles just add that extra fun aspect. All right, I'm gonna taste it, see if it needs any more salt or anything. It's pretty close to perfect, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this uh, Creole seasoning. I tend to add this to a lot of my soups and sauces because it just gives that extra little kick and that complexity of flavor. I really like it. 
Don't want to add a lot, just a sprinkle there, enough to give it some flavor. Let's just see about these noodles here. So the main thing I was worried about was that they'd start disintegrating when the hot broth hit them. So far that doesn't seem to be happening. Looks good. I'm going to give a little taste test here. I like that. They're so thin and they kind of fall apart in your mouth like you want them to. You don't want to be like chewing on rubber bands. It's not even close to like shirataki noodles. It's very nice texture. Let me try this one. So that one that I just tried was the fresh egg white version, the thinner ones. And this is the thicker one made with the egg white powder. They both taste good. I think I like this one a little bit better because this one does have that little bit of um, the bubbles to it, so it's kind of poofy, and that kind of absorbs some of the liquid, and it kind of just doesn't feel quite like pasta. It tastes good, but I think this one wins um, just as far as texture. I think the texture is excellent on this one. So I'm definitely gonna call this noodle experiment a win, and I'm really excited to experiment with the other noodles for different pasta dishes and recipes. I'm excited about that. I am going to go sit down and enjoy this bowl of chicken noodle soup because I think that's just what the doctor ordered. Hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you again in another video.